recording. The name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Son, Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. The angels. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it, Be it done, done, done unto me according, according, to, thy according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now that they are our death. Amen. 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 And the Word was made flesh, and, and dwelt, dwelt, dwelt among, among us. us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Mother, Mary, Mother of God, 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 pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy for, for the promises of Christ. of Christ. Let us pray. For, 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 for to beseech you, O Lord, 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 your grace and to our hearts. hearts. That that we do in the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made, was made known, known by the message of an angel. angel. May, May by his passion and cross, cross be brought, brought to the glory of the resurrection, resurrection through the same, the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, the Father, Holy Spirit. The Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. Lord, this is the first day of the week, or the eighth day as well, or the week of the resurrection, the little resurrection that we experience every Sunday. Come and be with us, O Lord, as you have come and heal the deaf and the mute. Be with us to heal us as well that we may be able to proclaim your word, to listen to your word. And as we thank you for the gift of hearing and for the gift of tongue, continuously build in us, Lord, your spirit, as well as your love, your compassion and care. That as we may experience, we will not only pronounce you and profess you as our healer, but our God who will restore everything. And as we come in this Zoom prayer, we ask you to accompany members of our families, our loved ones, those people have recommended themselves to our prayers. Wherever they are, keep them safe, O oh Lord. But for the moment, stay with us, Lord, as you have stayed with your disciples at Emmaus, and that we may recognize you in the listening and as well as in the proclamation of the word. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We now listen to the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Christ. Glory to, Glory you, Lord to you, O Lord. O Lord. O Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ifata, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ears were open. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Praise Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning and good evening. The Lord be with you and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Father. Happy Sunday, Father. Happy Father. Sunday. 
the last part of the gospel speaks it well from the people that said he has done all things well. The phrase itself or the sentence is a convincing sign on the part of the Gentile people to acknowledge Jesus, not only as a miracle worker, not only as a healer, but someone they can place their faith. After all, they were the ones who brought the dumb and the deaf man to Jesus to have him healed. Realize that the first part of the gospel, that's, that was Jesus, who is in Tar and going to Sidon. It's the upper north of Israel. Talagang malayo po yan. But then he still made a circuitous route going down to Decapolis. And these are the areas of the Gentile people. St. Mark is giving us these places because at the outset he wanted to tell that Jesus did not only come for the Jewish people, although they are the priority but the Gentiles are included. Why he wanted to tell them that the saving of God is universal, that the saving of God is for everybody. Although again, priority would be the Jewish people, but the Jewish people who would not accept him. That's why he came and went to this Gentile territory. What is beautiful is none other than, first, there is the concern of the Gentile people. They brought a man, deaf and mute, a man who is an outcast in the society, Perhaps he was popular because he was always the, the humor of the people or they were always having joke on him because they could not hear and he could not speak. But you see, they have the compassion as well, bringing him to Jesus because in their limitations, they realized that he could not do anything. Perhaps they might be helping that man, deaf and mute, but it's only to that, but to heal, it's now to Jesus. So much so that they ask Jesus, lay your hand upon him or heal him so that he will be restored. And so what Jesus did was the process of his healing, quite different from the other healings that we had experienced before. In some healings, he would directly say, get up to that little girl, Talita Pum, and he got up and she got up. But this one, it was a long process. He took the man privately, meaning the crowd could not be a good place for healing because there is so much noise. The man is deaf, the man is mute. And taking him outside in a private would mean that person is not simply a person of the crowd. That person does not only need healing, but he wanted to demonstrate that that person is unique, very special to him. He got the man and brought him in private so that this process of healing can begin. And he started with putting his fingers in the ears and then his spit. You see, spitting, yung dura na sinasabi natin, saliva, it has its healing power. Diba? When we were young, our parents, pag sumasakit yung tiyan natin, they would put a sign of the cross using the saliva. So it has really its saving power or healing power. And then afterwards, he touched the mouth of the dumb. And then he groaned the sigh of Jesus, perhaps the pain as well. And he said, Ephata, be open. So you see, it was a long process. If you take it one by one, it's almost around five or six. But Jesus took that one with patience because this person is quite different. This person is unique. And he wanted to tell him when he sighed and looked up to heaven, he wanted to say, it's not by me, but it's the power of God. And we realized before that the healing of Jesus is the power of God. When he put his fingers in the ears of the man, he wanted to say, I will remove the blockade in your ears. When he put his fingers in the mouth of the person, he wanted to say, I will remove the blockade in your mouth so that you can speak. True enough, this is what Isaiah said. A savior will come. A man who will restore everything to its proper place. And that's Jesus now. But beyond here, he wanted to tell them not to tell anyone. Why? He does not want to be seen only as a healer so that people would flock to him when there are miracles. But he wanted them slowly to understand who he is. Because afterwards, this is the eve of chapter 8, verses 27, wherein Peter will proclaim him as the Messiah, the Christ. So much so that this part of the gospel, the healing, invites us to see Jesus in a deeper manner, to look at him as someone who would restore. He did things so well. He made everything complete. He made everything wholesome. 
and that's Jesus in our life. When we come to Jesus, we are blessed because we have ears we can hear. We have mouth because we can. that's why we can speak. All the more, it should be used to come to Jesus because when we come to Jesus, he makes us whole. He makes us complete. He heals us from our brokenness. Today, I, I was saying in my homily, let's, let's be open to where we are. It's so nice to be open to Jesus. Yes, let us open to Jesus and tell him, Jesus, in many ways, or in, in, in life, I'm so proud, so that he will make us humble. Jesus, we have our poverty, so that he will enrich us. Jesus, I am broken, so that he will make us whole. I used earlier the word, Lord, warak na kami sa buhay, and then he will make us wonderful. Lord, we have that sense of ugliness because of our sins. And Jesus would lead us to the beauty of life. After all, he's the beauty of life. Lord, in many ways, we learn only how to hate, not to love. And he will teach us to love because Jesus is love himself. Lord, in many times we are not good, but he will lead us to the goodness of life because he's the bonum as well. So this is Jesus in our life. When we put everything to him, he makes us complete. And thanks be to God, we can hear, we can speak. And let us use all of these instruments in order to deepen our relationship with the Lord. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, thank you. Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. For affirming that we are unique. For affirming, For affirming that, that we are unique. unique. Individually, we are special to you. Individually, Individually we, are we are special, special to, you. to you. And you call us always in private. And you call, and you us, call us always in private. In order to heal us. In order to heal us. Thank you, Lord, for the ears that we can hear. Thank you, Lord, for the ears that we can hear. For the mouth that we can speak. For the mouth that we can speak. That we be able to praise you, O Lord. That we be able to praise you, O Lord. However, O oh Lord, in so many ways. However, However O oh Lord, Lord, in so many, so many ways. ways. The man deaf and dumb was quite lucky enough. The man, the the man, man who is dumb, dumb was dumb, lucky dumb is quite lucky. Because he could not be a victim of fake news. Because, because he, he could not be a victim of, of fake news. news. He could not join any chismes. Or gossiping. He couldn't join in the chismes or gossip. In a way, he's innocent, O oh Lord. In a way, in a way he's, he's innocent, innocent, O Lord. Oh Lord. And to that, we ask forgiveness. And to that, we ask, that we ask forgiveness. When we use our ears and mouth. When we, when use, we use our, our ears, ears and mouth. Not to proclaim or praise you. Not to proclaim or praise you. But rather for some negativities. But rather, but rather for, for some, some negativities that harm us or others. That, that harm, harm, harm us or others. others. Lord, we need your healing. Lord, Lord we, we need, need your healing. healing. We need to be whole once more. We, we need, need to be whole once, once, once more. more. We need your fingers in our ears. We need, we need your, your fingers in our ears. In our ears. To remove all blockages. To remove all blockages. Of not good words or hearings. Of not good words or hearings. Touch our mouth as well, O Lord. Touch our mouth as well, O Lord. That our words will be pure. That our words will be pure. And only good things can come out. And only, and only good, good things, things will come, come out. Come out. And that at the end, O oh Lord. And that, and that at the end, O oh Lord, Lord. We will do things well as well. We will do things as well. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, Mother of God pray for us God sinners now at the hour of our death. Of our Amen. Saint Michael the Defender, pray for us. Saint, Saint, for Saint us. Raphael the Healer, pray, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, 
Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph. Pray, Pray for, for us. San Agustin. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Hannibal. Pray, Pray for, for us. For us. Send, O oh Lord. Holy, Holy Lord, Lord into your church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Thank you, Father, Thank you, Father for the Welcome so much for uh, healing prayer. Welcome, Patitas. Nandiyan ang city to, ma, Tita Bell, we're complete. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no, Tita. Thank you, Tita Ami, for the reading. <laughs> Good to money is also here. Yes, oh, okay. Tita Mani is around. We're complete. <laughs> Today's gospel is a story about one who was close but is now open. One who was deaf but now hears. One who was dead but now lives. It is more about our heart than it is about our ears. It is more about spiritual deafness than it is about physical deafness. So it is for the man in today's gospel. So it is, us, it is for us as well. We are either open or close to the connection with God, one another, and the world. Sometimes we chose to be open or close depending on people, places, and circumstances. We hear what we want to hear. This is what we call selective hearing. Mm -hmm. I can't help but wonder if spiritual deafness isn't one of the primary causes of conflict in our marriages and families, in our relationships with one another, in our nation, and in the world. It's not hard to see how deafness destroys relationships. We are deaf to the dignity of all human beings when we show favoritism and make distinctions based upon appearance, wealth, and status. We are deaf to the teaching of Jesus when judgment triumphs over mercy and indifference rather than love defines our relationships with our neighbor. We are deaf when we, will, when we become self-occupied and self-enclosed because of pride, anger, jealousy, or the refusal to forgive another. We are deaf to our spouse and children when we are too busy or too self-important. We are deaf to God's justice when we refuse to recognize and do something for the poor, the hungry, the homeless and those who suffer the devastation of war. We're deaf with agendas, prejudice, and assumptions tell us all we need to know. We're deaf when we have no need of another because his or her views, politics, religion, or lifestyle differs from our own. We are deaf when we chose not to listen to the cry of the unborn, the elderly, the disabled, the marginalized, Yes. We are deaf to God's grace when pro productivity and profits determine our choices and guide our lives. We are deaf to God's presence when we refuse to be still, be quiet, and listen. Hearing follows openness, ipatha. That's what Jesus tells the deaf man. He doesn't say, no, hear. He says, Ipata, that is, be open. He says the same thing to you and me. Jesus is always speaking Ipata to the closed parts of our lives. Let our ears be open to hear Christ's word of forgiveness of our sins and his love for us. Let our eyes be open to see the beauty of creation and the possibilities God sets before us. Let our mouths be open to speak the good news of what God is doing in our lives. Let our hands be open to the work of God that has given us to do. Let our minds be open to new ways of thinking and understanding. Let our hearts be open to love our neighbors as ourselves. Let our lives be open that God might dwell in us. 
the openness to which Christ calls us transforms and heals our lives. It reconnects us to God and one another, offering new life, new beginnings, new hope, and new possibilities. So I end my reflection. As God says, can you hear me now? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Amen. Amen. Beautiful reflection. Yeah. Um, please go ahead, Tita Bell. He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of Mark brings it to fore the caring and supportive role of the community in bringing about the well being of the deaf mute person. There is a great need for building a healthy and caring community, especially with what's happening in our world today. As what was narrated in the Gospel, the people begged Jesus to heal the deaf man with speech impediment and he took him off by himself away from the crowd, put his fingers into the man's ears and spitting touch his tongue, looked up to heaven and said, Ipata, that is, be open. We can see how personal the healing of Jesus is. It's not just a run-of-the-mill healing act, but done with a very personal touch. As what Father Danny said, it was a long process. In, other, in another context, Jesus' healing of the hearing and speech-impaired men alludes to the people who cannot express their opinion or sentiments because they are overpowered or suppressed by authoritative people or suppressive laws. This is the liberating side of Jesus' healing people from the enslaving forces of evil in whatever form. So Jesus empowers such kind of people through the guidance of the Holy Spirit to speak up and express themselves. He ordered them not to tell anyone. Here we see the humble trait of Jesus. He doesn't want to be well-known and popular. He just wants to go about his mission to, to heal and to preach, not wanting recognition or fame. He was just true to himself. Our prayer is, dear Jesus, please liberate us from our sinful ways so we may do things right. Make us instruments of your healing powers, not only to heal physically people who come to us sick, but also work on their spiritual healing as well. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Bell. What else can I add? Older, no? Ifata. be open. Three, these are powerful words. Why are they powerful? Because they are powerful because they are more than words. They are words that actually accomplish what they say. These words are spoken by Jesus after the deaf man is brought to him with a request for healing. By saying the command, be open, the deaf man's ears are open and his speech impediment. But why did he uh, separate him from the crowd? And why he opened the ears first? Because he just, Jesus just wanted that, that person would hear what his words his words, what he's going to say, not what those people around him are going to say. He doesn't want him to hear because maybe just miss lang in a good usapan. And uh, <clears throat> and then he uh, touched his tongue, spitting. Naway lang. Sabi nga ni Father Danny, saliva can cure or what? Sabi nga, Dr. Laway, no mga in our old folks. 
when Jesus speaks his words, changes things. This is true in this story. But it is also true in our lives. Men nowadays, many are deaf, who need miracle, healing miracles. Deaf because maybe they're not really deaf, but they're nagbibingi bingihan. Yan marami, nagbibingi bingihan. So they do not hear. Maybe they don't speak evil. They don't hear evil. They don't see evil. But uh, speech is, he gave us the, the tongue to spread the good news. His word and words of charity. For that reason, these words of Jesus must be spoken to us. We must let him take us off to a quiet place alone to speak to us. And what is it that God has been saying to you for a long time that you refuse to hear? What is it that you have allowed yourself to become deaf to? Let our Lord open the ears of your heart so that you can hear all that he wishes to say to you. Yes. Lord. Once that happens, yes. Jesus will also help you speak his words of truth. And love. Let us speak your words, Lord Jesus. Nowadays, we're struggling hearing the voice of God. Yeah. At times we're listening, and we especially may struggle listening to God. So we spend some time alone with our Lord and let Him heal us so that we can hear and understand all that he is saying to us. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. I'd like to put, give a rejoinder for today's reflection. Uh, as Tito Mani also noticed, we have a good uh, reflections already that pass but let me ask everyone that today we reflect on the life of Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. We recall how she spread the gospel, we how she spread the good news by the life of service, particularly to the poorest of the poor and the outcasts of society. I pray for all who call upon the patronage of Mother Teresa, especially the members of the missionaries of charity. I just remembered I was in Calcutta and I cannot stand the place. I've been through, I have not get inside very much the squatters area but went through in front of the house of Mother Teresa and all of that, but I cannot stay for that long. And how I admire Mother Teresa being able to do that. So we, this moment, let's, let's talk to Jesus about what we have reflect on. Lord Jesus, just as this crowd brought this sick man to you, we bring before you a specific request for healing and grace for lives and in lives of others. We ask you to grant all of us what we need. We also ask you to pull us out of the crowd, away from the noise of our worries, distractions, work, or even that lies that the enemy whispers to our hearts. Heal, heal our deafness of heart. 
Yes, Lord. Please fill our deepness of heart. And clear out the impediments which keep us from you. Show us how you are working and making yourself present through the daily reality of our lives. We wish to find you here, here in the midst of the prayer warriors and here to be found by you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Elmer. Um, Tita Linda, for the three pointers. Yes. <clears throat> the three pointers for today's gospel are the following. Number one, everything that Jesus does is good. That was how he lived during his ministry. Yet the Jews crucified him. While he was doing the Father's will, he knew this outcome was inevitable. So he drew, he drew strength from his father. Number two, when we leave the truth of Christ, we too would find opposition, as many are not open to God's truth. People only want to live within their narrow understanding of what they understand as truth. Number three, are we willing to serve God's truth and persevere in it? Amen. 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 Thank you I would very like much. To, I would like to offer a song. And if if some of you who knows this song, please join, please join me. Salamat sa iyo, aking Panginoon Jesus. Ako'y inibig mo. At inang king lubus, ang tanging alay ko sa iyo aking ama, ang buong buhay ko puso at kaluluwa, di ko makaya ng makapagkalog. Mamahaling hiyas at gintong Nilukob ang tanging dalangin o Diyos ay tanggapin. Ang tanging alay ko na waay gamitin. Ito lamang ama, wala nang iba pa. Kaming hinihiling. Salamat Lord. Thank you very much. You. So as we as we end this uh, prayer session, uh, we would like to pray for Mama Mary, um, a very the oldest known Marian prayer, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. That ends our prayer session for today. Beautiful day today. Beautiful prayers. Beautiful reflections. Beautiful everything. Thank you very much. Thank Beautiful you. everybody. You, Lord. Beautiful everybody. <laughs> so pretty everybody. Okay.